All right, team, it is time to finally uh, add the features that I've been talking about for a long time, which is the ability to not only show the location, but use the location to um, calculate distances and um, do some of the more sophisticated things that I've said about each location on the map. And so uh, I've tried this a few times. I think I get it. Uh, I'm probably gonna make some mistakes as I piece this together, but I think I understand how everything fits together. And I am hoping that I can show you how to piece it together yourself. So you can see here that I have my uh, previous version of this. This is like the one that I showed you in class um, with a whole bunch of locations. My location is visible on the map. You can sort of see it right there. And the goal is um, to make it so that when you click on one of these, it tells you which location is selected, but also your current distance from the location that you have uh, identified, because a lot of you have asked about how you actually do that distance calculation. I have all the files here. Um, and so let's, let's just get started. This piece is together. Hopefully it won't take too long. First thing that we're going to do, we're going to go to our content view file and we're going to create a new variable. And we're going to call this uh, location store. And the reason I'm using this is that the things that I want to be able to access throughout my app are locations. And so uh, I'm going to create a location store. It's going to have a type of observable, observable object. And there are two locations that I want to uh, share with the entire app. Um, the first one, I'm going to use this um, identifier published. Um, the first one is going to be the selected location. I want to know throughout my app what location has been uh, selected. And I'm going to make that a map annotation. Now, one thing that I need to make sure of when I do this if I go to, oh, sorry, uh, not map annotation, map location. There we go. And one thing that is important here is in map location, you'll see that I've added in this thing that this is an observable object. That's really important so that I can do the rest of this. So uh, make sure that this has observable object next to it inside map location. And we'll go back to our content view. Uh, the other thing, um, the other published variable that we're going to put in there, let's capitalize the P, published var, um, is the phone location. And that is whenever the phone's, the, you, the device's location changes, we want to track that. And we're going to make that also a location. And for the purpose of just giving these initial values, I'm going to give this, um, I'm going to make this location list 7. And for the selected location, and then I'm going to make the phone location, location list eight. These don't really matter that much because when you click on one of the items in the list, it's automatically going to uh, set those uh, locations um, automatically. So we have this. The next thing that we need to do is that anywhere that we want to access these variables, we have to add a reference to it. So for example, inside the map navigation app, I'm gonna do at environmental, oops, environment object. And I'm gonna call this, uh, what do I want? Location store. And this is a location uh, store, which I came up with here, actually. Um, so I'm going to make the map navigation app, the place, kind of the home for all of this, uh, all these, uh, this information. So I'm actually going to use a state object here. And I'm going to, at the end of the body right here, I'm going to put dot environment object, and I'm going to put location store. Um, so I'm going to do something very similar. I'm getting a complaint. I need to put that here instead. I uh, need to put that on the navigation view. So I'm going to use uh, this 
statement somewhere else. I'm going to go down to location cell. Those are the rows in my column. And I'm going to paste this here, but in this location, I'm going to make this an environment object. And I'm also going to do this inside of the location detail. Um, and so uh, there's one more thing I need to do. And actually, instead of doing this, I'm going to set location store equal to this location store object. You don't, you don't have to understand a lot of what I'm doing right now. I don't really understand a lot of what I'm doing right now, but I think it, um, I'm starting to piece this together and uh, this is what works. So just go with it and I can help you individually to implement this. Um, okay, so everything is looking good here. Uh, all right, so. The next thing that I want to play around with is this location detail cell, and I'll show you inside here. Um, when I select a location, this page that comes up is the location detail. And so I want to put a text box right about here that just says the distance to the phone. So I have a V stack. I'm going to go here and I'm going to type text. Put distance to phone, and I'm going to put in. Um, uh, here's what I want to do. So uh, I have selected location is my location on the map. I have this ability to calculate its distance from another location, and I'm going to use the location of the phone that is stored inside this location store. So I'm going to do location store dot phone location dot location and I think that should do it um, so we have that everything is looking good here okay so if I run this let's see what happens everything seems okay so far and so if I select a location you can see that uh, it's giving it, it's giving a location, um, and it's giving a distance to the phone to some random thing. So it is it is calculating the location somehow. You can see the location here. You can see that uh, the blue dot is what represents um, your your phone's location, but you'll see that it says that it's nine thousand kilometers away. Um, or 9,000 meters away. I think it's 9,000 kilometers. That's really far. Um, and that is because there is no place where we are actually setting our phone's location to the location of the phone. So we're going to go to our map view. And inside the coordinator class right here, um, we have this, I mean, I, I have these variables that are from a previous version right here. Um, I'm going to change that and let's see, oh, there's one more place that I need to paste this environment object, and that's inside the map view. So I'm gonna put that here. Because I also wanna be able to change the location of the phone inside the map view object. So we're gonna go here, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the location store dot phone location and I'm going to set this equal to a map location and I'm going to make the title you or your phone and I'm going to make the location the manager dot location so what this means is uh, that anytime the phone says you're in a new location anytime that happens uh, set the location equal to what the phone says is the new location. And there are a couple things I'm going to do here. I'm going to do parent dot location store dot phone location, and I might. Okay, that might be okay. Let's save that and see what it does. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go back to pizza for peas. That is what it says my location is. And so if I go to my location, my custom location here in 
thing here and I just change my location a little bit. Watch the distance to the phone when I hit OK. Notice that it changes automatically. It's updating because my new location, uh, my location has changed, so it, uh, I am telling this location store that something has changed. That's going all the way up to this environment object. That has changed. Um, and then inside here, This right here is automatically calculating the new distance because uh, what SwiftUI is doing is it is tracking any changes to this location store. When you create a new object, a new location, um, it works. And this will also work. Let's go instead to maybe Grandview A, so a different location. It's a little bit farther away. And let's change the location now to be that and watch that distance change. There we go, much further. And so now the distance is updating automatically. So if you want to have something that is calculating the distance to the phone, this is how you can do it. Let me know if you have any questions um, on how to implement this yourself. Good luck. See you in class.